Hello, welcome to Cardio Fitness with Katie. We're going to start the class in the chair. So we're going to need a chair and yoga mats and in the running shoes. So come sit comfortably, shoulders relaxed down from the ears, stomach and chest proud, stretching out the neck first, you to shoulder extend the opposite arm out, using the same hand to guide or support the head, lengthening, stretch. One more breath, and we go to the other side, you to shoulder extend the opposite arm out, using the same hand to guide or support the head, stretch. Release any tension that you may have. Slowly come back to center, hands on your thighs. Take an inhale first, exhale, turn over the right shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Slowly come back to center, chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. Inhale, center, exhale, look at the right armpit, slightly cut the chin in, 45 degree angle. Inhale, center, exhale, the other armpit, slightly cut the chin in. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. Stretching out the shoulder next, right arm up and across, pull back, creating tension. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, relate the first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Tricep stretch, chin up, looking forward. Those who can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. And we're gonna slowly release, shake it up. Get a side arm up and across, pull back, stretching on the shoulder. And release. Same arm up, relate them, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. And release, shake it up. Hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows out. Another shoulder exercise. Opening up the lung, heart, chest. Feel the pinch in your shoulder blades. When you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to bring the elbows close to each other. Oiling the shoulder joints. And go the other way. Reverse. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Shake it out. Interlace the finger. Press down. Middle. Ah, push the sky away. Keep going at your own pace. Stretching out the forearms. Now on the last one, we're gonna stay up here, lengthening the spine and get ready for side bend. Outside hand grab hold the inside wrist. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Inhale, center to lengthen. Exhale to the other side. Outside hand grab hold the inside wrist. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Inhale, center again. Now this time we're going to release the bottom arm. Top arm is a crest the moon. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Slowly come back up. We lengthen the spine to center. Exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is a crest the moon. Side body long. Slowly come back to center. We lengthen and then we get ready for the twist. Opposite hand off the thigh. Turn a little bit back. Turning the neck as well. Massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. Slowly come back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Bombing and pressing, looking up. And release the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh, the other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. Turn and over, look your shoulder, look at the back. Stretching out lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. 
Now we're gonna slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm. Forming a crescent, looking up. And slowly, slowly coming back down. Shake it out. Getting ready to come up. So we're gonna move the chair aside. So we'll come back to the chair later. Getting ready for cardio. So we're going to match it up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. As always, we listen to our body. Take a break whenever you need. Have a sip of water and join us when you can. Four. Three. Two, one last one. Side step, side step. Curve it up. Single, single. Double, double. Single, single. Double, double. Keep going. This is the last set. Slowly come back to center, boil the water fast hands. Keep your feet going. Keep the heart rate up. Spin the other way. Center side to side. Chopping hands. Keep the circulation going. Four, three, two, one. Punch, punch your hands. We change to scooping hands. Scissor in the back. I'm so circle, small circle. Go 
the other way, change direction, small circles. Four, three, two, one, swimming stroke, open up. Change direction, scoop it in. Double arm. it up. One up, one down. Creating resistance here. Keep the heart rate up. Three, two, one, last one, very good. Now we're gonna do opposite hand, opposite knee, knee high up. No jumping. A little bit of a toss or turn. Underneath the knee, knee high up. Once again, you don't have to jump. Three, 
two, one, chair. Slightly tuck the tables in. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. You don't have to go very far down. Fast to height. Shoulder issue, cactus arm. Strong arm, strong core, work the thighs. Keep going. Four, three, two, one, step in a little bit wider. Look at this up and down, crochet going. Toes are pointed up, hands up and down. Slightly tuck the tables in. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Keep the legs going. Let's do another four, three, two, one, stay here, side to side. Coming into side bend. One last one. Come back to center, lengthening. Punch down and up. The other hand on your waist for support. You don't have to go all the way down. Know your range of motion always. Stay within your boundary. Three, two, one, switch your side. Three, two, one. Come back to center, heel toe, heel toe, bring the legs together. Shake it up, shoot the arrow, pull back and release. Bring the back leg in. Last one, and we're going to switch side. Shoot the arrow. Pull back and release. Two, one last one, come back to center. Wide leg, fast toward your plate. Toes are putting it out. Press down. Keep the feet going. Core strong. We 
gonna pull it up, palm facing up. Keep the feet going. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Coming back to marching. Take water if you need. Rocking horse. Kick the front, kick the back. Add the arms. Keep the momentum going. as well. Hands interlace side to side. If you cannot interlace the fingers, have them touching or close to each other. Shoulder exercise. Slowly, slowly release, shoulder roll. Loosen up. Go the other way. Just 
keep the arms going. Slowly come back to center. Arms up and extend. Arms up, extend. Side, the other leg in front, so we're going to have arms up, tap, back, tap at the front, tap at the back. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. Release, we we'll pull it up. Toes up, one it out. Up to the shoulder height. Let's do another four, three, two, one, slowly release, come back to side step, one arm stationary, punch above and below. Punch down. Cut 
Now back to center. Now combination. Now we're going to do one forward, one hook, one uppercut, and one punch down. So forward, hook, uppercut, punch down. So go at your own pace. Forward, hook, uppercut, down, forward, hook, uppercut, punch down. Keep going with this pattern. One last set. Forward, hook, uppercut, punch down. Hands on your waist. Side kick. Doesn't have to be a high kick. Four. Three. Two. One last one, slowly release. Now we're gonna come down on the mat. We're gonna go on all four and do cat and cow. So have a sip of water. Spread all your fingers, wrist underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. When you're ready, inhale, draw the belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight, looking down into a cat. So we're gonna keep going. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrates. Can I also help you go to relieve back pain? Two more times. And one last one. Slowly come back to your two spine, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. We're gonna take an inhale to center, exhale to open up the right hip, squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Inhale center, exhale to the left, forming a C shape in your spine. One more set, inhale center, exhale to the right, let your hip drop. Inhale center, Exhale to the left. Slowly come back to neutral spine. Swing side to side. And balance. Right arm and left leg up. Right thumb to the sky. Back toes down. Core strong. Looking down. Once you're set up, elbows to your knee for five times. Go at your own pace and your own breath. And slowly release when you're done. Swing side to side, and we're going to repeat on the other side. Left arm and right leg up. Reach and stretch. Once you're set up, elbows to knee for five times. And come back to center to release. Swing side to side. Lifting the left hip up. Open shut. Fire hydrant. Only open as much as you're comfortable. Listen to your body always. And slowly release the other side. Fire hydrant. Slowly, slowly release. Swing side to side. 
Now we're getting ready to come up. So meet your down dog. Spread all your fingers, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. So we're going to go from down dog to plank. Keep going. Take your time to set up. Feel the stretch. When you're at plank, strong arm, strong core, not sticking the butt up, not sagging. When you are in down dog, Lift the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away. Walk the heels down. Let's do another three. Two. And one last one. Slowly walk the feet forward. Now we're going to come to a forward bend. So I'm going to get off my mat. So I'm going to get ready for a forward bend. Take your time to get up. And some ways to support. Take an inhale first. Exhale, hinge. Leave it with the chest. When your back is parallel to the floor, you can release the hands down. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Release the head down. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. So you can also hold on to opposite elbows to add more weight. Just be mindful that the head is below half. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath. And we're going to get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale to slowly rise up to standing. Once you've come all the way up, we're going to go back, bend your counter. So interlace the fingers behind, now comes down and away from you, lifting chin up and half back, not pushing the hips forward. Shoulders and hips are aligned, so don't stick the hip forward. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up the hard chest. Helping people with breathing related issues, stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and head back. And slowly release. Shake it out. Arm swing. Legs are equal for part. Don't lock the knees. So soft knees. Keep the arm close to your body. We're only going up to the shoulder height first, palm facing down. When you're ready, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to keep the arm close to your body. Nice and slow with control. Be mindful of anyone who has shoulder issues. Now we're going to release and palm facing up. Just swing. We're not hitting anything. Make sure you have enough room in your space that you're not going to hit furniture and we go into a full circle now. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it up, the other side. First we're gonna have palm facing down. Swing only up to the shoulder height. When you're ready, we're going to go into a full circle. Right side might be different from the left side, that's perfectly normal. So know your range of motion. Never force your body to do anything that is not ready. Now we're going to have palm facing up. Only up to the shoulder height first. When you're ready, we're going to go into a full circle. Keeping the arm close to your body. Slowly, slowly release. Stepping the legs a little bit wider, toes up, or it up, arms up. We're going to go into a full circle here. Now 
now we're going to go the other way. Slightly tuck the tables in. Control movement. One last one. Slowly release. Shake it out, bring the legs together. Kula hoop, hands on your waist. Soft knees, don't lock your knees. Go the other way. Stir the pot, widen your stand. Go the other way. I'm sorry, T, side to side. on your waist, dropping the shoulder in. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Heel toe, heel toe, bring the legs together. Coming into your chair. Do your time to set up. Bring the legs up. Now, if this is too high for you, leave the leg on the ground. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Square the hip to the front. Getting ready for forward bend. Inhale your arms up, relate the spine. Exhale, we hinge for bleeding with the chest. You can place your hand on either side, you can hold on to your chair. I'm not rounding the back, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Feel the stretch here, hamstring. If this is too tight for you, slightly bend at the knee. Also working the standing leg and ankle. Staying here for four, three, two, one. Slowly come up and release. Shake it out. The other side. Hamstring stretch first. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Square the hip to the front. Inhale your arms up. We lengthen the spine. Exhale. We hinge from the hips. Leading with the chest. If you like to hold on to the chair. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Not rounding the back or dropping the head. With every exhale breath, stomach come down. Hip and ankle are aligned. Stretching out the hamstring. If you are too tight, slightly bend at the knee. Staying here for four, three, two, one, slowly, slowly come back up and release. Shake it out. Watch yourself stretch. Take the foot into your hand. Knees together, don't open up too much. Looking at a focal point that doesn't move, that will help you with balancing. Stretch out the quarter set. Now you can hold on for support. You can hold on with both hands or you can release. Coming into an answer, and if you fall out of it like I did, just get back into it. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. The other side. Grab a hold the other ankle. Knees together. Take the foot into your hand. You can hold on for support. You can hold on both hands. 
I'll try to enter an answer, your choice. Locate the focal point. Four strong. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it up. Inside leg is standing leg. I'm holding on to my chair support. The other hand on your waist, lifting the knee up, coming into a circular motion. Step opener. Be mindful of anyone who has hip issues. Go the other way. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Elbows to knee. When you have knee up, flex the foot. Let's do another four, three, two, one. Slowly release, stepping your legs a little bit wider, toes up on the out. Get this motion going first, at the arms. Let's do another four, three, two, we're going to stay here in our side bend, chin is away from the body looking up. One more breath and release. We're going to move to the other side so we don't overwork one side of our body. So take your time to set up. Inside leg is the standing leg, holding on to your chair for support. The other hand on your weights. We're going to do that hip motion first. Flex the foot. Opening up hip joint. Working the standing leg and ankle. Go the other way. Slowly, slowly release. Transfer the weight, shake it out. Inside leg is the standing leg, elbows to knee. So we're going to flex the foot when you have knee up. Two more. One last one. Very good. Shake it up. Transfer the weight. Stepping the legs a little bit wider. Toes are holding it out. We're going to get this motion going first. At the arms. Shoulders on top of hip. Going up and down only. Good posture. Watch your knee joint. Let's do another four, three, two, one. Come back up, we're gonna step back at the arms. Let's do another four, three, two, one. Slowly, slowly, 
We're going to stay in this position. Coming into a side bend. Chin is away from the body, looking up. And release. Very good. We're going to come behind the chair. Hold on for support. We're going to have heel up and then toe up. So rock forward backwards. Engage your core abdominal muscle. Continue to work the quadricep, your calf, ankle joint. Stretching out your toes as well. And you can hold on for support. Or you can add the arms. Inhale up, reach for the sky, exhale down. Inhale arms up, reach for the sky, exhale down. If you need support, continue to hold on to your chair. Let's do another four, three, two, one. Very good. Hold on to your chair. We're going to have a side kick. Doesn't have to be a high kick. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Now we'll come sit down on the chair. Sitting about two thirds of the way in. Shoulders relaxed down from the view, stomach and chest proud. Just taking a few calming breath here. When you're ready. You can either have hands and thighs or holding on to your chair for support. I'm going to have knee up now. Don't bend back too much. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Core strong. Now, look at the quadriceps, the calf. Muscle conditioning. Strengthening, toning the muscles. Couple more times. And then we'll have me in. Pick it up. Two more times. One last one. Bring the sole of your feet together. Draw it in. Continue to engage your core abdominal muscles. Your quadricep, your calf, all working together in this one, including the hip joint, ankle joint. Try your best. Let's do another four. Three, two, one, slowly release, adjust your posture. We're going to tap in the center, opposite arm, opposite leg. Now make sure you're not going to fall off your chairs. Control movement always. Let's do another four, three, two, one last one. Slowly come back to center. 
I'm going to come to our figure four. Opposite ankle, opposite thigh, flex the foot, slightly lean forward by pressing on the knee part, never the knee. And you should feel a stretch here. Hip flexor, opening up hip joint, helping people to relieve sciatica condition. You adjust the pressure, the tension. And at home, you can stay here for a little bit longer. And we're going to slowly release the other side, opposite ankle, opposite thigh. Flexing the foot will contact the knee. Hands resting on the thigh part, the meaty part. We never touch the bony structure. Adjusting your own pressure, your own tension. You can feel the stretch here, hip flexor. Figure four. Figure four is the modification of pigeon. If we were to do lying down, mat yoga. We can also do it lying down on the mat. Slowly, slowly release. Lower ankle and wrist exercises. Sitting up top, pumping blood back to your heart. Helping you with circulation. Bring oxygen, energy throughout your body. Side to side, a little bit of coordination. Circle. The other way. Walking the ankle joint, brisk, increase mobility, range of motion, and slowly, slowly release. Take a couple of calming breath here, and we're gonna stretch out the forearm, palm facing knee, fingers facing down, lengthening the forearm, stretching out the wrist, then we're gonna have fingers facing up, palm facing knee. Switching side, shake it out, forearm stretch. Palm facing knee, fingers facing down, lengthening the forearm. And then fingers facing up. Slowly release, shake it out, big, big up, love yourself. Then you can stay here, if you can go into ego arm, lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb, lift the elbows up and away from the body, form the out shake. Slide back bend if you like. Slowly release, big, big hug on the other side, grab your arms around you, place your finger on your shoulder blade. If you can go into eagle arm, lock the elbows, grab on the thumb, you end up with the thumb facing your nose, lift the elbows up and away from the body, form your L shape, slide back bend if you can. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up. Make a fist, inhale, shoulders up to your ears, make it tight, tight, tight. Oh, send it out to release. Now do it a few times. Inhale to create tension, exhale to let go. Two more times. One last one. Interlace the fingers, surrender, place it behind your head, pull forward, gently. Release tension at the back of your neck, creating spaces between C2 and C7. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up. Thank you very much for watching, sharing your energy with all of us and letting me guide you through this program. Have a nice day.